13 Reasons Why, stylized on screen as TH1 Routine Reasons Why, is an American teen drama web television series developed for Netflix by Brian Yorkie, based on the 2007 novel 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. The series revolves around 17 year old high school student, Clay Jensen, and his deceased friend Hannah Baker, who has committed suicide after failing to cope with the culture, gossip, and lack of support from her friends and her school. A box of cassette tapes recorded by Hannah in the lead-up to her suicide detail 13 Reasons Why She Ended Her Life. The series is produced by July Moon Productions, Kick to the Curb Productions, Anonymous Content, and Paramount Television, with Yorkie and Diana Sun serving as showrunners. Dylan Minnette stars as Clay, while Catherine Langford plays Hannah. Christian Navarro, Alicia Bow, Brandon Flynn, Justin Prentice, Miles Heitzer, Ross Butler, Devin Druid, Amy Hargreaves, Derek Luke, Kate Walsh, and Brian Darcy James also star. A film from Universal Pictures based on 13 Reasons Why it began development in February 2011, with Selena Gomez set to star as Hannah, before being shelved in favor of a television series and Netflix ordering the show straight to series in October 2015, with Gomez instead serving as an executive producer. The first season was released on Netflix on March 31, 2017. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences, who praised its subject matter and acting, particularly the performances of Manette and Langford. For her performance, Langford received a Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actress in a Drama Series. However, its graphic depiction of issues such as suicide and rape, along with other mature content prompted concerns from mental health professionals. In response, Netflix added a warning card and from March 2018, a video that plays at the start of each season warning viewers about its themes. In May 2017, Netflix renewed 13 Reasons Why for a second season, filming began the next month and concluded that December. The second season was released on May 18, 2018, and received negative reviews from critics and mixed reviews from audiences. A third season was ordered in June 2018 and is set to be released in 2019. Critical and audience reaction to the series has been divided, with the program generating controversy between audiences and industry reviewers. Premise In Season 1 17-year-old Clay Jensen returns home from school one day to find a mysterious box on his porch. Inside he discovers seven cassette tapes recorded by Hannah Baker, his deceased classmate and unrequited love, who committed suicide two weeks earlier. On the tapes, Hannah unfolds an intensely emotional audio diary, detailing why she decided to end her life. It appears each person who receives this package of old-style tapes is fundamentally related to why she killed herself. Clay is not the first to receive the tapes but there is implied detail as to how he should pass the tapes on after hearing them. There appears to be an order to distribution of the tapes, with an additional copy held by an overseer should the plan go awry. Each tape recording refers to a different person involved in Hannah's life contributing to a reason for her suicide. The tapes refer to both friends and enemies. In Season 2, months after Hannah's suicide, Clay and the other people mentioned on the tapes, as well as close friends and Hannah's family members become embroiled in a civil legal battle between Hannah's parents and Liberty High School. Alleging negligence on the part of the school, Hannah's mother pursues her perception of justice, while her reluctance to settle pre-trial and her personal circumstances eventually break up her marriage with Hannah's father. The story unfolds with narratives illustrating Hannah's story told by those who present in court at trial. Clay, who perceives himself as Hannah's failed protector, embarks on an investigation using whatever evidence he can find in an effort to impact on the civil case between Hannah's parents and the school. Clay also endeavors to expose the corrupted culture of the high school and its favor of wealthy, sports-savvy male students over the average student, which especially compromises the integrity of young girls such as Hannah. Throughout Season 2, Clay appears to be communicating with the ghost of Hannah as a plot narrative device. Production Universal Studios purchased film rights to the novel on February 8, 2011, with Selena Gomez cast to play Hannah Baker. On October 29, 2015, it was announced that Netflix would be making a television adaptation of the book with Gomez instead serving as an executive producer. Tom McCarthy was hired to direct the first two episodes. The series is produced by Anonymous Content and Paramount Television with Gomez, McCarthy, Joy Gorman, Michael Sugar, Steve Golan, Mandy Teefee and Crystal Leblin serving as executive producers. Filming for the show took place in the northern Californian towns of Vallejo, Benicia, San Rafael, Crockett and Sebastopol during the summer of 2016. The 13-episode first season and the special were released on Netflix on March 31, 2017. 
therapy dogs were present on set for the actors because of the intense and emotional content of the series. On May 7, 2017, it was announced that Netflix had renewed the series for a second season. Filming for the second season began on June 12, 2017, but was briefly halted in October in response to the then-ongoing Northern California wildfires happening around the areas where the series was being filmed. Production on the second season wrapped in December 2017. The second season was released on May 18, 2018. On June 6, 2018, Netflix renewed the series for a third season, which is set to be released in 2019. Audience Viewership the marketing analytics firm JumpShot determined the first season was the second most viewed Netflix season in the first 30 days after it premiered, garnering 48% of the viewers that the second season of Daredevil received, which was the most viewed season according to JumpShot. The series also showed an 18% increase in week-over-week -week viewership from week 1 to week 2. JumpShot, which analyzes click stream data from an online panel of more than 100 million consumers, looked at the viewing behavior and activity of the company's U.S. members, factoring in the relative number of U.S. Netflix viewers who watched at least one episode of the season. Season 1 The first season has received positive reviews from critics, with much of the praise for the show being aimed at its acting, directing, story, visuals, improvements upon its source material, and mature approach to dark and adult subject matter. The review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes reported an 80% approval rating with an average rating of 7. 2 tenths, based on 51 reviews. The website's critical consensus reads, 13 Reasons Why It Complements Its Best-Selling Source Material With a Gripping Look at Adolescent Grief Whose Narrative Maturity Belies Its Yamilu. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned a score of 76 out of 100, based on 17 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. Jesse Shadeen of IGN praised 13 Reasons Why, giving it a 9.2 out of 10, amazing stating that the show is a very powerful and hard-hitting series and ranks among the best high school dramas of the 21st century. Matthew Gilbert of the Boston Globe gave a glowing review for the show, saying, The drama is sensitive, consistently engaging, and, most importantly, unblinking. Maureen Ryan of Variety asserts that the show is undoubtedly sincere, but it's also, in many important ways, creatively successful and called it simply essential viewing. Leah Greenblatt of Entertainment Weekly gave the entire season a score of B+, calling the show a frank, authentically affecting portrait of what it feels like to be young, lost and too fragile for the world. Daniel Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter also praised the show, calling it an honorably mature piece of young adult adaptation, and citing its performances, direction, relevance and maturity as some of the show's strongest points. The acting, particularly Catherine Langford as Hannah and Dylan Minetta's Clay was frequently mentioned and widely lauded in several reviews. Shadeen of IGN praised the cast, particularly Minette and Langford, stating, Langford shines in the lead role. Embodies that optimism and that profound sadness as well. Minette's clay is, by design, a much more stoic and reserved character. And does a fine job in what's often a difficult role. Gilbert of the Boston Globe praised the chemistry of Langford and Minette, saying that watching these two young actors together is pure pleasure while Shadeen of IGN also agreed, saying that they are often at their best together, channeling just the right sort of warm but awkward chemistry you'd expect from two teens who can't quite admit to their feelings for one another. Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter also praises both actors, Langford's heartbreaking openness makes you root for a fate you know isn't possible. The actress' performance is full of dynamic range, setting it against Manette's often more complicated task in differentiating between moods that mostly go from uncomfortable to gloomy to red-eyed. Hygiene starved despair. Ryan of Variety also gave praise to not only the two leads, but also the supporting cast of actors, particularly Kate Walsh's performance as Hannah's mother, which Ryan describes as career best work. Positive mentions from various critics, such as Ryan, Feinberg, and Shadeen, were also given to the supporting cast of actors, most particularly Alicia Bow, Miles Heitzer, and Christian Navarro's respective performances of Jessica, Alex, and Tony. Liz Shannon Miller of IndieWire, who enjoyed the show and gave it a positive score of B+, give praise to the racial, gender and complex diversity of its supporting cast of teens. Another aspect frequently mentioned within reviews was the show's mature and emotional approach to its dark and adult subject matter. This was favorably reviewed by critics, such as Miller of IndieWire, particularly her statement that the adult edges to this story ring with honesty and truth. Miller, and Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter, also stated that the show can be difficult to watch at times, while Shadeen of IGN states that it is an often depressing and even uncomfortable show to watch.
a pretty emotionally draining experience.